It's really very painful. Um, it's a mourning process and a grieving process and something that still happens even now. It's not something, at least not, not for myself or Pete, that all of a sudden became fine. It's, it's a process that um, you continue to grieve probably, probably his whole life in a way because you accepted, expected a normal, healthy child and then you get one um, that is just not what you thought you'd have. When he got to be about seven months of age, he still wasn't sitting. And that's really when I started thinking, perhaps there's something more wrong than just the fact that he was six weeks early. Hey, Yes? Mm -hmm. I said, hi. Well, when they finally did say, no, we do think he's, he's delayed and we think we can help you, I was so relieved. I, I just want to say, see, you know, I told you so. So I was just very, very happy that we could get some help for him. The diagnosis um, has always been developmentally delayed. And that's something that's been so confusing because I really thought that when we first started going to the Champion Center, that he would be there for a year because he was just developmentally delayed and he would catch up. And I had no idea that the catch-up process can be forever, really, or come in little spurts or big leaps. I had no idea what the, what the whole process takes, and actually nobody really does, so that was what was kind of difficult. He didn't walk until he was 26 months, which is you know, two years and two months. All the other kids his age were not just walking but running up steps and climbing and and he was barely toddling, so um, it was a very difficult time. Right now, he's been making so much progress, we're just very, very hopeful for the future. Um, but it's been a very long road that really goes up and down and around and, and through rocky times and okay times. The Champion Center really cares about the kids, 100%, and they care about the family. But everything they do is for the child, and they individualize everything they do. It's such a sense of true, true love and true caring for Tim. It's been really, really nice. Let's go. Let's go. Who's going to be the leader? It's always a huge thing to be told that your child has something like Down syndrome. Families were very supportive, but you've always got people who say things like, oh, well, you want to put him in an institution then. And, and so you're kind of coping with other people's reactions as well as your own reactions at the same time. There are still people out there, mainly in the older generation, who think that that's automatically what you'd want to do, is to just put the child away and get on with your life, which is just not, you know, that's not what most people do these days. As soon as I gave birth, I looked at him and I said, oh, you don't look like my other two children. And as soon as I said that, I knew. I guess I was numb at first. Just kind of moving through in a blur. It was quite, quite a huge thing to take on board. There's never been any doubt in our minds that Gabriel is a loved member of our family, but it's still a huge, huge thing to take on board. Well, my first experience was a wonderful woman called 
Anastasia, who was their head social worker at the time, and she was just such an empathetic woman, and she basically just explained to me what the Champion Centre is about. Let me cry. <laughs> Sat there and sobbed my heart out to her, and, and she just basically told me what the options were, what the Champion Centre offered, and encouraged me to go and take a visit. And I was dreading it really, and because part of you is saying, no, I'm not part of this world. I'm not part of the disabled mother's world. Um, so part of me was kind of, I'm not sure if I really want to go there or do this thing. But the other ladies were so welcoming, the therapists were so welcoming right from the beginning. It, it's always been a very, very welcoming atmosphere. Um, very loving people there and just um, very supportive. Very supportive of where Gabriel's at, where I'm at, and it's, it's been a positive experience right from that first day, really. Um, milestones, I mean milestones are, are just so, you're waiting for them to happen because they're delayed and you're just wanting things like that so badly that when they happen, and talking, you know, I, no, probably talking would be a biggie too, like when he gets a full sentence out without stuttering or stumbling and it's a good grammatical st sentence, I'm just like, yes, it's just so great and he's, you know, um, it gives me joy when he, he'll come out with words that I've never taught him. The Champion Centre program is offered by teams of staff involving a wide variety of professionals, including speech-language therapists, early intervention teachers, music specialists, computer specialists, and so forth. And they are the program. And without these highly trained professionals, we would not be able to offer the world-class program that we offer. The families that you've just met have received early intervention for their children at the Champion Centre as a result of funding from the New Zealand government, but crucially we receive additional donations from a variety of sources that allows us to offer a world-class program that goes beyond the core therapies and responds to worldwide research in early intervention.